Hello and welcome to the 2023 Premier Youth League Cup and plate draw for round two. My name is Liam Bentley. I'm joined by Luke Blundell for today's draw. First, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land, the Awabako people, and pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging. It's important to note today's draw isn't being broadcast live, as you'll see on the website now, due to the complexity of the draw and essentially being potentially difficult to follow um, for you at home without seeing each individual match being drawn. It is important in the interest of transparency that the full draw uh, is recorded and still available for anyone to view online. So we are in round two of the inaugural PYL Cup competitions um, and fair to say we'll get a fair few draws to get through today. There'll be one main draw for the all age groups of the PYL Knockout Cup, um, which is for those who either won their first round tie or who received a bye into round two. Given the spread of teams in the PYL Knockout Plate, we will do individual draws per age group. It's also important to note that even if a team is drawn out first, it may not necessarily mean they play those matches at home. With such a complex draw um, and a mixture of teams um, from different regional areas uh, and obviously with different uh, teams in the play and in the cup, um, that we will need to look at the fixtures and find the best and most practical way to allocate these fixtures into the cup weekend. So let's start with the PYL Knockout Cup. A reminder that one draw will be applied to all age groups. Uh, so essentially we won't be doing uh, individual draws for each age group. One draw will, be will take place and we'll allocate those numbers uh, within uh, the numbers that the clubs would have been sent earlier this week. To ensure the remaining buys don't go any further into the competition, the first two numbers that do get drawn out um, will be uh, receiving a buy straight into round three. We will then add in number 14, uh, as that is a buy in the 13s, 14s and 15s, and we don't want buy to progress through the draw. So, uh, without further ado, look, if you can add those first lot of balls into the pot. And if you can pull me out two balls to get a buy into round three. Number two. Number two gets a buy into round three. Now we do know they are all Cooks Hill United teams across all age groups, so Cooks Hill get a buy into round three. Number seven. Uh, number seven uh, gets a buy into round three. Also, they are all uh, Adamstown Rosebud teams except for the 14s, which is Cahiba. So I'm going to add number 14 into it now, and this will now be one draw. Pulling out the first team uh, against the second team. Look, if you want to start, uh, start with this one. Number five. Number five, that is all Lampton Jaffa's teams. Number three. And they will be up against number three, which is all Edgeworth teams. So all Jaffa's and Edgeworth teams got through to round two. And they'll be facing off in round three. Number 13. Number 13 is a mixture of Valentine and Maitland. Number 10. And they'll be up against a mixture of South Cardiff and Nias. Number 8. Number 8 is a mixture of mostly West Wall's End, except in the 13s where it's Cessnock. Number nine. And they'll be up against a mixture of Newcastle Olympic, mostly Olympic, except in the 15s, it's Western. Next game. Number 11. Number 11 is Broadmeadow Magic and North Coast Football, so a mixture of those two teams. Number six. And number six is All Mid Coast FC, so potentially a regional uh, match up there. Number 14. Number 14 is the bye in the 13s, 14s and 15s, but uh, Bull Wara in the 16s and Walls End in the 18s. Number 1. And they will be up against Belmont Swansea United, so Bell Swans straight through to round 3 in the 13s, 14s and 15s. Number 12. Twelve is a mixture of New Lampton and Charlestown Azuri. Number four. And they are up against all Lake Macquarie teams. 
across all age groups. Now, I did say there was a mixture of teams within there. They are different in each age group, given the nature of a pure knockout competition. So we will, of course, uh, send out these fixtures individually um, for the Knockout Cup. Uh, and again, those fixtures will be uh, allocated by Northern New South Wales Football. Okay, as we have less teams in the PYL knockout plate, there are only a small number of round two matches that actually need to be played. As such, we're going to do the draw for round two and round three for the knockout plate. Uh, the round two games, as there's only a few of them, will be played midweek, allowing us to use the full capacity of the allocated cup weekend for the round three fixtures, uh, meaning less midweek fixtures overall for all of our teams. So let's do this age group by age group. Uh, we'll start with the under-13s. Uh, as this group has 11 teams, we only need three matches to, be, uh, to happen in round two, uh, with those not drawn out going straight into round three. So, Luke, I'm going to ask you to draw out six teams, um, three matches, you can put the balls in there, and then we will utilise the same numbers for the round three draw. Number four. Number four is North Coast Football. Number 11. And they will be up against Nelson Bay. So North Coast Football versus Nelson Bay. And our next match. Number seven. Number seven is Charlestown, Azuri. Number eight. And they will be up against Maitland Juniors. So Charleston Azuri versus Maitland Juniors. Number three. Number three is Maitland. From the Premier Youth League. And they will be up against... Number 10. Number 10, West Walls End. So Maitland versus West Walls End. Okay. So in order to take, uh, to do the round three draw, uh, essentially the number that was allocated to the home team, um, just taken out there, uh, will be allocated to the winner of. Uh, so as we draw it, we'll let you know who that team is. Look, in that first ball, if I can ask you to pop those three back in, and we will get underway for our round three draw. Number seven. Number seven is the winner of Charlestown Azuri versus Maitland Juniors. Number one. And they'll be up against Thornton Redbacks. So we'll just confirm that's the winner of Charlestown Azuri versus Maitland Juniors up against Thornton Redbacks. Number four. Number four is the winner of North Coast Football versus Nelson Bay. Number nine. And they'll be up against Nias. So the winner of North Coast Football versus Nelson Bay up against Naya. So I'm going to slow down a little bit just to let our guys in the background catch up. Number five. Number five is Kahiba. Number three. And they are up against the winner of Maitland versus West Walls End. Number six. That is Western Workers. Number two. Up against Singleton Strikers. Okay, that will conclude our under 13s draw. We'll go back and reset the balls, ready to go shortly for the under 14s. Okay, on to the under 14s draw. As this group only has 10 teams, we only need two matches in round two, with those not drawn out going straight into round three. So, look, can I get you to pop the balls in there uh, and draw out uh, four teams for two matches? Number eight. 
Number eight is Medowie. So Medowie drawn out on the 14s. Number two. And they will be up against Singleton. So Medowie versus Singleton. One more match for round two for me, Luke. Number six. Number six is Weston. And who will Weston be facing? Number seven. Number seven, Cessnock City. A bit of a local derby there. So Weston versus Cessnock. Okay, uh, now if I can get you to put both of those home teams back in. Uh, and then we can get underway for the round three draw for under 14s. Number five. Number five is Adamstown Rosebud. Number three. And they will be up against Valentine. So Adamstown versus Valentine. Number six. Number six is the winner of Weston versus Cessnock. Number nine. Uh, number nine is New Lampton. Number eight. Number eight is the winner of Medewi versus Singleton. Number four. And they will be up against North Coast Football. Number one. Number one is Thornton Redbacks. Number ten. And they are up against South Cardiff. So that concludes the draw for the under 14s. We'll be back shortly with the under 15s draw. Okay, on to the 15s. We only have nine teams uh, in round two of the plate for the 15s, which means we only need to draw one match for round two. And then we'll move on to round three. So look, if I can get you to pop them in there and then draw me out two teams to face each other in round two with the remainder of teams uh, proceeding directly through to round three. Number two. Number two is Singleton Strikers. Number seven. And they're up against Charlestown Azuri. So Singleton versus Charlestown. That's the only match we need um, for round two of the under 15s. If I can get you to pop the home team number back in there, we can get straight into round three. Number five. Number five is Kahiba. So Kahiba, the first team drawn out in round three of the 15s of knockout plate. Number three. And they'll be up against Maitland. So Kahiba up against Maitland. Number two. Number two is the winner of Singleton Strikers versus Charlestown Azuri. Number eight. And they'll be up against Maitland Juniors. Number six. Number six is Newcastle Olympic. Number one. And they're up against Thornton Redbacks. Number nine. Number nine is Nias. Northern England. Number four. And they're up against Broad Meadow Magic. So that concludes the under 15s draw. Uh, we will move on shortly to the under 16s. Okay, on to the under 16s draw. The under 16s only has uh, seven teams uh, going through, so there's no need for uh, a round two. We'll go straight into round three so we can utilize that cup allocated weekend. Look, if I can get you to pop all eight balls into the draw ball and start drawing out some matches for round three of the 16s knockout plate.
Number two. Number two is Singleton Strikers. Number one. And they're up against Thornton Redbacks. Number eight. Number eight is the bye, so someone's getting straight through to round four. Number three. And that is Maitland, so Maitland from the Premier Youth League. Number six. Number six is Weston. Number five. And they're up against Cahiva, so Weston versus Cahiva in the 16s. Number four. Number four is North Coast Football. Number seven. And they're up against Cessnock City, so that was round three of the under-16s PYL knockout plate. Uh, we'll be back shortly with the under-18s. Okay, on to our final draw for the day, the under-18s PYL knockout plate. Again, we have nine teams in round two, which means we only have to have one match um, before everyone else proceeds through to round three. So we'll pop all the balls in. We'll draw out two teams to play in round two. The remainder making it through to round three. Number eight. Number eight is Warners Bay. So Warners Bay. Number seven. And they're going to be up against Cessnock City. So Warners Bay versus Cessnock City Hornets. All right, look, if I can get to pop the home team number back in, that can take us straight on to the round three uh, and take us away. Number four. Number four is Broadmeadow Magic. <clears throat> Number five. And they'll be up against Kahiba. So Broadmeadow Magic versus Kahiba. Number eight. Number eight is the winner of Warners Bay or Cessnock City Hornets. Number one. And they'll be up against Thornton Redbacks. Number two. Number two is Singleton Strikers. Number six. And they'll be up against Weston. So Singleton versus Weston. Number nine. Number nine is New Lampton. And lucky last. Number three. Number three is Valentine. Okay, guys, as this is pre-recorded, we won't go through and recap each and every uh, part of the draw. Uh, hopefully, you should have a copy of the draw with you at this point already. Uh, as mentioned, we will be allocating uh, dates, times, uh, and venues uh, based on the practicality of multiple teams playing in different competitions as well as regionally based clubs as well. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for following the draw uh, and good luck in your PYL knockout cup or knockout plate matches.